They've taken everything. Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump blames one country repeatedly for the US's economic woes. China, China, China. Look at what's happening with China. But is that the case? Let's do a reality check and find out. We'll start with Trump's issue with China's currency, the yuan or renminbi. They are the single greatest currency manipulator that's ever been on this planet. He's repeatedly accused China of weakening the yuan to benefit its own exporters. Economists say that argument might have held up seven or eight years ago, but not anymore. The yuan has actually been strengthening sharply over the last 10 years, up 20% against the US dollar. That makes US exports to China much cheaper. It's strengthened so much that the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, added the yuan to its basket of reserve currencies. That gives China an international stamp of approval and credibility. Now Beijing is intervening, but the objective is to keep its currency strong, so it gives no advantage to its own exporters. When it comes to trade with China, Trump says the US is getting a raw deal. You lose $500 billion a year with China. It's a total imbalance. We don't make good deals anymore. We don't win anymore. The US trade deficit with China is actually $365 billion. That means the US is buying more Chinese goods than China is buying US goods. The deficit is at a record high, but the balance has been like that for the last 30 years. Now, staying with trade, Trump says the only way to fight this imbalance is by slapping a 45% tax on Chinese goods exported to the US. You're open to a tariff. I'm totally open to a tariff. This threat is aimed at Chinese companies but would hurt American consumers. Economists say a higher tax means a bigger price tag for goods that come from China. What's more, economists are unanimous in saying this could lead to retaliation by China, which would trigger a global trade war. And that wouldn't be in the interests of anyone. Andrew Stevens, CNN, Hong Kong.